So I'm here with Frank and we're checking out this drone. Tell us a little bit about this model. So you're gonna get cinematic lens with this model. It's a 4K new model, so I'm getting used to the facts here. But you get a four mile flight range with a 30 minute flight time. So you're gonna get two minutes over the thermal uh, model of this one. Thermal model, you're gonna have that flexibility. One thing we're looking into with this model is potentially making this into a modular design. So we're looking at uh, cinematic lens right here. This may be able to be replaced with a more standard uh, camera like on some of our other models. And then you can just upgrade to the cinematic lens or to the thermal lens that you see on the other model over there. It'll save you a lot of money if you have that modularity ability. Oh yeah, absolutely. What, what works best for you. And then of course, detachable legs depending on your camera setup. So, okay. um, now how hot of a temperature can this fly in? Is it 104 degrees Fahrenheit or greater? I do not know. No? Okay. I do not know. But I can show you the image quality here. Here we go. And then it's going to ask to calibrate. It's calibrated. Uh, let me see. So off camera, we had discussed how I've only ever flown 30 seconds. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. But uh, you have different options for the, like, there's a beginner tutorial mode. Uh, you have different options on how you want to monitor for your battery health. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can calibrate custom. And what's the video specs on this? I believe it's uh, 4K native at 30 frames, but then what I'm trying to push for us to do a 60 frame 4K, and then this isn't going to be like your high speed shots, right? Okay. That's going to be more like the, the other model uh, in the corner that's going to replace the Mini. So that's, that's, we're trying to do like 120 frames or something like that. So will that be through a firmware update or a different model? No, it'll be a new model. So these, these new models that we're working on right now, we're working to get a production out maybe by uh, July time, June, July. Um, but, but that's, that's production site, right? So production then takes a month to get here, then we have to go through our distribution channels so that you're gonna see it around October. Okay, all yeah. right. It takes a I long time, everything's yeah. really slow. But uh, you can see the, the video quality right here if you wanna just like, if you wanna play around with this. I wouldn't recommend uh, launching it in the air. I'll make some drone sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, the software's still being developed so that we can smooth out the, the, the chips and everything. But the idea is that the gimbal does the heavy lifting. You know, you get that straight. I gotcha. And is this the model that has the best image quality currently? As of speaking in this moment, yes. And how much does this currently cost? This one we're going to be retailing. Current estimates are going to be at two thousand dollars, but. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna look at doing a modular design. So really what I would like to see is if we can come in at a $14.99 price point with a basic camera, then you have the option to upgrade in modular format to a cinematic camera. So just like buying a mirrorless camera, you can get like the body only, exactly. and then you get with the exactly. kit lens and it's like a hundred bucks more. And then yeah. if you want, you yeah. can buy the $3,000 lens yeah. and the camera was only $9.99. Not only that too, yeah. when, when you invest in uh, a piece of equipment that's over a thousand dollars, you should be able to fix it. So, so your pro right to repair? Absolutely. 100%. That is the first time I've ever heard anybody say that. <laughs> I used with, to... with drones, <laughs> with drones. To be, you know, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I come from a background of reefer, so it's like that's that's a heavy yeah. focus. You want to not be wasteful. No, I, I agree. I had I had to fight with Parrot to get replacement parts because they yeah. de they denied a warranty because I bought it off of eBay. Yeah. But the warranty was for one year, and the drone was out for like eight months. Yeah. And I'm like, there's no way this is possible unless I have a time machine. And I don't know about it. Yeah. And they're like, denied. Yeah, for sure. We put all <laughs> we put replacement parts on our website, Contixa.com yeah. and ContixaDrones.com. New website that it's just me working on. 
So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me, give me some time to work on. It, gotcha. I'm, I'm all over. The place. All over the place. Gotcha. <laughs> With um, if somebody did buy one of these off of eBay and it was like newish, like, is there any warranty? Does that transfer? One year warranty. It's tied to the serial number on the bottom. So you'll never tell me there's no way you're not gonna fix this because it's eight months old. Like it came out, released to the public eight months ago, and there's a one year warranty, and you're like, you've had it more than you know, you might have had it more than a year, which is it's, impossible it's because one, time one is year, linear. One year from yeah. first consumer sale. So if it okay. goes through one of our distributors, one year from the time they sold. Okay, so if it goes yeah. to a big box store, yeah, then you you you're able to tell from there. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, excellent. Well, thank you, Frank. Appreciate yeah, you. Of course.